Welcome. Today we're going to talk about Edi Rama, the current Albanian Prime Minister, and his role as a pioneer of a new strategic communication in the Albanian political arena. In his person, it is evident how the two features of celebrity politician and populist successfully meet. Edi Rama indeed cuts an interesting figure, as arguably defined by the Albanian researcher Belina Budini as the first Albanian celebrity politician or pop populist politician. The Albanian Prime Minister during his career has been able to attract the attention of the worldwide media positively, while his predecessors were not able to achieve the same. When we talk about celebrity politician, we are talking about a politician which uh, actually seeks celebrity status, while using the media as a tool to personalize his image and gain the trust and sympathy of the public. This phenomenon isn't new, being typical of the United States and emerging more prominently in Europe after the end of the Cold War. It has been favored by the fact that uh, media's focus shifted from policies or political positions to personalities and physical characteristics of politicians themselves, which could better actually attract the public's attention. Specifically, it was uh, September 2013 when Edirama came into power leading a left-wing coalition. Before becoming Prime Minister, he has already held a um, series of political positions from Minister of Culture, Youth and Sports in 1998 to Mayor of Tirana in 2003 for two terms, and finally in 2005 when he was appointed as Chairman of the Socialist Party. He was known actually for his uh, peculiar past as a painter and basket player and became famous in the international press for his eccentric and colorful style. Edi Rama, as an outsider and a harsh critic of the Albanian parties in general, seems to be able to bring a sort of new way of doing politics in the Albanian political uh, post-communist political arena. In 2004, he won the prize for the world's best mayor and the European Hero Award by Time magazine for the overturning of the previously unkept and chaotic Albanian capital city. Indeed, thanks to him, um, Tirana was undergoing radical aesthetic changes that were attracting worldwide press attention. In a short period of time, illegal buildings were removed, new parks were created. He also inaugurated a successful painting campaign around the city. When he was interviewed by BBC in 2002, he proudly stated that I am a pop star among the mayors and a mayor among the pop stars, presenting himself firstly as an artist and then as a politician. In 2011, he also presented his view about his project of a painted Tirana during the TED Talk in Thessaloniki. He, al he also used to have this, um, his radio program, Ditembar Me Ediraman, Have a Nice Day with Edirama, in which uh, citizens could, uh, could actually call him to make complaints or just have a conversation with him. And as a matter of fact, he preferred to be interviewed in his home, showing his art and dressing casual outfits, or directly replying to people's comments under his posts or videos in his uh, personal social media. So, yes, Rama was successful in cultivating his image and he was the most trusted politician in Albania when he was major, mayor of Tirana. After the implementation of the restriction in March 2020 uh, due to the pandemic and following his strategic communication, Rama started to have a conversation by phone with Albanian citizens and to answer the question or complaints made in the online platform of his party, Shqipëria Chaduan, the Albanian that we want. So the Albanian Prime Minister usually mixes celebrity politician communication strategies with populist claim. Generally speaking, uh, a politician can be defined as a populist if he speaks and acts in the name of the people and against the elite. And in this regard, Edi Rama declares the interest of the Albanian people as his main concern while saying that before being a member of the Socialist Party, he is Albanian. Furthermore, the fact that he was not connected to the previously communist elite made him a perfect populist candidate, one of the people and an outsider who is determined to fight against corruption at all costs. Presenting himself as an intellectual, he used the media to overcome any other political institutions, uh, specifically the role of the Albanian president, whom he often defined and described as the symbol of everything rotten happening in Albania. Indeed, an important element of his public discourse is the massive use of the word reform while talking about the Albanian political system. 
His anti-political and anti-establishment claims are an important feature of his personality, and he will always target the Albanian political parties as the main problem of his country. On the contrary, he ported himself as the only true voice of uh, democracy and as the one who speaks on behalf of the people. Edi Rama's role in Albanian politics uh, is absolutely one of the most peculiar after the dem democratic transition of the country. Nevertheless, it seems clear that he has lost part of his charismatic appeal while taking advantage of his position, increasingly relying on authoritarian tools. Therefore, Rama is no longer perceived as authentic as before, but rather as another corrupted politician. Consequently, media are under control or accused to produce fake news whenever they question any government declaration. In 2019, he was able to adopt an anti-defamation package, which authorized the Albanian Media Authority and the Authority of Electronic and Postal Communication to hear complaints about news websites, demand restriction, impose fines of up to uh, $9,000 and suspend their activity. However, he still tried to make uh, use of celebrity communication tools, even if he has lost uh, his uh, past unique uh, relations with the Albanian press. The degeneration of his image is um, actually due to several scandals uh, affecting him during his two mandates as prime minister, from drug smuggling accusation against some of his government staff to restriction on press freedom and finally uh, increasing the uh, authoritarian tendencies. The disillusionment around his policies can be seen in the growing number of people loudly protesting against his policies, such as the demolition of the Albanian National Theatre or against the curfew last year. However, his political party won again the parliamentary election in 2017, mainly because the Democratic Party, the main political opposition, hasn't been able to present a leader that could actually challenge the current prime minister. So it appears clear that he's not going to be overcome so fast. I'm Understanding Politics. Thank you for watching.